solving linear equations. So we are going to solve some few examples under this topic. So the first example is that we should find the true set of 8x minus 4 equal to 3x plus 11. Let's take it there. Solution. So we have 8x plus 4 equal to 3x plus 11. Now take note, the emphasis I'm putting here is on the steps we are supposed to take in commas. So the steps are very necessary. So we, we group like terms. Like terms, you bring the variables that are together and those that are not the same to the other side. So we have x here and x here. So we bring them to the left hand side. So here it's positive. Coming here will be negative. So we have 3x equal to, there's already 11 here. And I pick the negative 4 coming to be positive 4. Then 8 minus 3x is going to give me 5x, which is equal to 15. Now, don't attempt to do the division here. If you do the division here, you lose the mark for this step. So all you have to do is to rewrite this um, before you do the division here. Divide it by 5, divide it by 5. And so 5 enters itself 1, 5 enters here 1. So 5 enters here 1, and 5 enters here 2, 3. And so your x is equal to 3. The question says to find the truth set. So you have to conclude it, and that conclusion is very important. So therefore, the truth set. of the above equation is a true set must carry a Kelly bracket must carry a Kelly bracket so is x such that x is equal to 3 because it's a set a set is a group of identical element okay so a set is denoted by a curly bracket. That is why we have to put it in a curly bracket to illustrate that. Now, here, I pick this tray to come here and become negative. Let's explain the theory there. When we have 2x plus 1 equal to, let's say, 4, I want to pick this one across here to become negative. This is how it is. I want all the variables to be on one side and the non variable to be on the other side. So I don't want this one. What do you have to do? You subtract one away. So you have one here, I remove one. So I want to remove it. But whatever you do to the left, you do to the right. So I subtract here one, two. So this goes away, leaving 2x is equal to 4 minus 1. That's why we're saying that when you pick the one across, it becomes negative. So instead of putting this step, you can just take the one across and it becomes negative. If it's negative here and you're bringing it here, it becomes positive. Just like if you want to re um, reverse it, you add one and add one here, and you get back the top. Okay, that is the science behind. Now, let's look at the next e example two. It says solve for the value of x in the equation. Okay, so we are getting a solution. We have three in the bracket x plus one is equal to four in the bracket x minus one. Remember, this is the bracket form of question. And don't always forget to rewrite the question, okay? Rewrite it before you continue. So we expand this bracket this time. That will give me three x. That's implying that three x plus three times one will give me three. And this is equal to 4 times x, that will be 4x, 4 times 1, negative 1, that will give me negative 4. You group like terms again, so we put all the variables to the left hand side. So we have x, and this one coming here will be negative 4x. This one coming to the right, there's already negative here, this one comes with what? Negative 3. 
okay then 3x minus 4x will give you negative 1x but we don't put the 1 there so we just put it as what negative x is equal to negative 4 minus 3 will give me negative 7 okay then you divide through by negative 1 and here to by negative 1 and your x will be equal to 7 now I want to use this to explain something the top part the first example I said you don't divide it through here now if they are marking it means that the first the step that is missing here is minus x is equal to negative 7 so this step you lose the mark for this step that is why I said in the first example that you just have to leave this step and rewrite it before you do the division on this other step now the question says that we should solve for x in the equation so here we are not finding the truth set okay so what I'll just do is that I will now say the value of x is equal to 7 or is 7 so this is how you deal with this question let's take the question 3 find the truth set of the equation 3 on 4 that's 3 fourth in bracket x plus 1 all plus 1 is equal to half of x minus 2 plus 5 so this involves bracket and at the same time with a fraction so you deal with the bracket first if you have only bracket if there are fractions inside here you deal with the fractions so we will first have to deal with the fractions but if there are no fraction you deal with what the bracket first after you have dealt with the bracket you expand it and you solve it here let's continue so you find the LCM of 4 and 2 which is 4 and you multiply through by the entire equation now remember I said you will write the question 1 plus 1 is equal to 1 over 2 x minus 2 plus 5 now the LCM here is 4 so you multiply by each term bracket x plus 1 remember this is one term a term is separated by the sign okay so plus 4 times 1 it's another term and this is a whole term and this is equal to 4 times 1 over 2 bracket x minus 2 and this is another term plus 5 times 4 another 10 now you expand the bracket so 4 divide 4 that give me 1 1 times 3 give me 3 it's still multiplying with the bracket plus 4 times 1 is 4 it's equal to 4 divide 2 that is 2 times 1 so give me 2 x minus 2 plus 5 times 4 will give me 20 okay 5 times 4 will give me 20 now you are going to expand this bracket so here 3 times x will give me 3x plus 3 times 1 that will give me so whatever that is inside the bracket you trace multiplying it okay so plus the 4 is not affected by the bracket so I only have 4 it's equal to 2 times x will give me 2x minus 2 times negative 2 that will give me negative 4 plus 20 okay plus 20 and then 
group like terms so put all the variable to your left hand side and the non variable to your right hand side so we have 3x here then this is negative so this positive 2 coming will become negative 2x and this is equal to there's negative 4 here plus 20 so this this 3 coming will be negative 3 and this 4 coming also be what negative 4 now we simplify it 3x minus 2x will give me x and this is equal to negative 4 plus 20 negative 4 plus 20 that will give me 16 16 minus 3 that will give me 13 and 13 minus 4 will give me 9 you can just press that in your calculator and see whether you get the correct answer. So we have negative, we have negative, negative 4 plus 20 minus 3 minus 4. And you see the answer as what? 9. Okay. So this is how you deal with that one. And the question says we should find the true set. So we have to draw the conclusion very carefully because that one also carries a lot of marks in it. So therefore, so this implies that x is equal to that. Therefore, the true set of the equation above is so the curly bracket then x such that x is equal to 9 they close the curly bracket so this is how you deal with this question please if you have not subscribed make sure you hit that subscription button and the no notification bell so when i release any other new video you will not be left out let's solve example 4 solution find the true set of 2x minus 1 over 3 minus x minus 1 all over 5 is equal to 2 so we write the question out 2x minus 1 all over 3 minus x minus 7 all over 5 is equal to 2 so this involves a fraction and you have to deal with a fraction first, like I said. So we'll find the LCM between 3 and 5. So the LCM here is 15. So you kindly multiply each term by what? 15. So multiply in through by 15. So 15 times 2x minus 1 all over 3 minus 15 times x minus 7 all over 5 is equal to 2 times 15. Now, 3 will enter itself 1, 3 will enter here, 5. 5 will enter itself 1, 5 will enter here, 3. So you rewrite it. Now, 5 times 2x minus 1. 5 times 2x minus 1, so you write it in the bracket, minus 3, in bracket, x minus 7. And this is equal to 30. Expand the bracket now. So 5 times 2 will give me 10x minus 5. And then negative 3 times x will give me negative 3x. And negative times 7, that's negative 7, give me positive 21. So negative times negative give you positive 21. And this is going to be equal to 30. Now, I simplify it by grouping like terms. So I have 10x minus 3x, and this is equal to 30. This is negative 5. Picking it across the equal sign will be positive 5. Then this is positive 21. Send it across the equal sign will give me negative 21. So 10x minus 3x will give me 7 x and this will be equal to 
30 plus 5, that will be 35. 35 minus 21. Let's use the calculator to punch it inside. So 30 plus 5 minus 21. And your answer is what? 14. So you write 14. Divide here by 7. Divide here by 7. Remember. Okay. This step. Then x is equal to 2. So this implies that x is equal to 2. Now the question says to find the truth set and illustrate the result on a lambda line. Find the truth set. So therefore the truth set the truth set of the above the above equation is x such that x is equal to 2. Now, to draw the number line, you use a pencil. You don't use a pen. So you get the line drawn, a straight line. I'm just using this for demonstration. So but remember, you use a straight line. Then you get your middle. So you get the zero. To my right is positive. One, two, three, four. To my left is negative. Negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. Remember, this is drawn not to your skill, but you must have equal sizes, equal spaces, or equal scale. Now, the unit here is two, so x is equal to two. So we just look for two, and you mark it, so it means x equal to two. And you write it there, x equal to two. And that is all about the number line. So when you get to the inequality, a different number line you have to draw. But every linear equations, you just locate that number. If there are two different answers, you join them and put your answer there. Now let's look at our last example. Example five. A word problem. And we can we, we get to solve for it. Amma is four times as old as Akua. In ten years' time, Amma will be twice as old as Akua. Find their age. So you find their ages. So you have to take it systematically. You have to take it um, a bit by bit. Then you'll be able to delve for it. So solution. Let Akua's H be X years. So we don't know her age. Then Ama Ama's H will be what? Four times that of Aquas age, because the question is saying Amma is four times as old as Aqua. If you don't know Aqua's age, you'll not be able to know Amma's age. But now we say that Aqua's age is X. Then we can know Amma's age to be four times. So Amma's age is four times X. That will give you four X years. Okay? Now, in 10 years' time from the question, in 10 years time, how old will be Akua? It means Akua is going to, is, her age is going to be doubled up by 10, okay? So Akua's age will be X plus 10. So her age now is X. So in 10 years' time, she will get, 
it will gain 10 more years okay so if that's the case then ama ama's age in 10 years time will be four x so her age now is this so in 10 years time she be four x plus 10 okay now from the question we can write the equation as four so that's continuation ama will be twice as old as akua find their ages so in 10 years time ama will be twice so in 10 years time what will be akua akua's age will be x plus 10 and ama age will be what 4x plus 10 now the question is if 10 years time ama's age which is this in 10 years time this is the age will be equal to two times aqua's age will be equal to twice aqua's age so it's called twice aqua's age ama's age in 10 years time is this and aqua's age in 10 years time is this and the later part of the question says ama's age will be twice as old as aqua in 10 years time so ama's age will be equal to twice as this now we have gotten this all you have to do is to expand the bracket and you simplify it so we have 4x plus 10 equal to 2 times x will give me 2x plus 2 times 10 that will give you 20 then you group like terms so i have 4x this coming across will be negative 2x this is equal to so there's already 20 here so i leave it there and pick the 10 across that gives me minus 10 so 4x minus 20 so minus 2x that give me 2x is equal to 10 20 minus 10 that give me 10 so we have 2x minus that divided by 2 divided by 2 so my x is equal to 5 okay now therefore we conclude that a course age a course age is five years now and i'm a h is how much age is four times a course age so four times a course is four times so let's say four times five and that will be 20 years that is the current age so in 10 years time you add 10 to the 5 and you get 15 and you add 10 to this and you get 30 but they are asking us for their ages their ages now their current ages so that's what we are looking for find their ages so you just have to know how to deal about it thank you for watching please follow like and subscribe to get to my next video we shall look at the linear inequality in my next video. Thank you and have a nice time.